Up to a small concentration, fluoride can be beneficial for our body, such as in uh, teeth protection. But when it comes to large concentration of fluoride contamination in the groundwater, this might be really a severe problem because it can trigger a disease which is called fluorosis. And according to WHO, there are more than 260 million of people on over 25 countries treated by fluoride contamination. Fluoride contamination in groundwater has both uh, man cause uh, and natural origin. Classic example is the fluoride contamination in the Rift Valley, where the volcanic activity increased the concentration of fluoride in groundwater. Uh, however, this is really a widespread problem. Current technologies fail to provide a method uh, which is both affordable and good in terms of efficiency for fluoride contamination. We have developed a technology which shows all premises to mitigate the problem of fluoride contamination across the planet and improve and possibly save the life of millions of people around the world. We use uh, protein uh, nanofibers generated from very inexpensive uh, protein sources like food protein, milk protein. And we use these fibers to scavenge first and then convert uh, transition metal ions into nanoparticle. And then use the fibers nanoparticle hybrid uh, to generate membranes uh, which really show unprecedented efficiency in removing fluoride uh, from water, both in terms of efficiency, pH range, uh, selectivity and capacity. We have tested this technology on a number of artificial natural uh, samples. For instance, we have used that uh, on uh, groundwater from the city of Rome, which struggles to remove uh, fluoride uh, from water supplies before end user distribution. And we found that our technology really outdoes all known methods to remove fluoride from, uh, from water. So we are really convinced that we have done a major step forward in uh, mitigating the problem of uh, fluoride contamination worldwide.